hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel how are y'all doing today all right i'm going to get a quick thumbnail and then we'll talk about what we're eating whoa i was sliding that's just gonna do what i made today is i guess my version of wet burritos it has um, beef with taco seasoning, salt, pepper, refried beans, Mexican cheese rolled into, I didn't bring the tortillas over here, but they're like low carb keto tortillas on top. It has the green enchilada sauce and then more cheese and then some queso. And in the center here is some just some Spanish or Mexican uh, rice. I think it's like cheesy rice or something. This is a new recipe. I don't think I ever made it. I'm not quite sure. But we're going to go ahead and dig in. How are y'all doing? How has your week been? How's your weekend? What's on your agenda for New Year's? It's the inside. Mmm. Kind of tastes like restaurant style. They're really good. I'm just drinking an actual Sprite today because it sounded good. <clears throat> so I thought, you know, it's the new year. So what better to talk about than what are y'all's new year's? I don't want to say resolutions. What are your goals? What are some things that you're going to work to improve on next year for yourself, for your family, your job, whatever it is? What are some, what's some things on your list? Let me know down below. <clears throat> I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nope. Oh. I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, it's pretty relaxing. I got over there and we cleaned up my um, desk area. So, when my manager gets everything settled for me to work from home for a couple days, I just gotta go buy a chair tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about some of these goals that we got going on. Just a quick PSA for the people in the back. Us thicker people, we enjoy going to the gym. We like going to the gym and we actually do go to the gym. So my goal for next year is to go to the gym an extra couple days. So about four or five days a week. I'm just putting it out there for the people in the back like to say stuff. Yeah. So that's one of my goals. Going to the gym helps me mentally, too. So, that's another reason why I go. Um, another goal. Y'all know, last, like this year we're in now. I was setting the boundaries for everybody. This year coming up. I really wanted to work on <clears throat> self-improvement. Um, you know, just finding myself doing stuff that makes me happy. One of the things we were discussing was doing like meditation type stuff. And I found a holistic place that's close to us that does like, I think it's Reiki, R-E-I-K-I -I or something like that. Um, they do massages they do facials so i want to get in the habit of me him and i going and doing that kind of stuff i think it'll be a nice couple building type thing you know just to clean you know just to cleanse out our mental ain't nothing wrong with that um 
because you know i get my hair done i get my nails done but i want to do more mental work let me know if you guys do any of that kind of meditation type stuff um yeah so definitely want to do that definitely want to work on doing less screen time i forgot the sour cream do less screen time and more like being outside or reading books <clears throat> maybe take up some kind of like painting classes or something yeah just definitely want to focus on me more mentally That's about it. I don't remember what else, what else did you have written down. I don't remember what else I wrote down. I spend more time out in nature, parks, the beach, go fishing, just stuff to like recharge and I don't know. Just get your mental right. Is what I want to do. people get to me yeah not letting people get in your head space letting people know how i feel about them well letting people know how you feel is both good and bad me i'm just learning how to just brush stuff off <clears throat> but definitely want to do meditation stuff i would do maybe kind of like a yoga type thing but I have vertigo, so some of those positions I wouldn't be able to do. Why is getting back to doing what we like doing? Oh yeah, traveling. getting back to traveling. Traveling's definitely on the list. Hopefully this year we can actually get out of Florida for a few days. I want to go to like Georgia. I think it's called like Tybee Island, like north of um, Jacksonville. I heard Georgia has some really nice beaches. So, that kind of stuff. A lot of couple stuff to where him and I can like really spend time reconnecting while making ourselves mentally healthy. Oh, that's important. Because with like both of his parents passing this year, I know. Get back to living again. It takes a toll on you, and I guess. Fortunately, I haven't had anyone super close to me pass away, but can only imagine. The toll it takes on you mentally. Just passed what three years, four years ago. Seven years. Yeah. It's time to get back to living again. <clears throat> There's just too much in this world to see. So we definitely want to travel the East Coast. That's a goal. But yeah, let me know what your New Year's resolutions are. Not resolutions. I don't like that word. I don't like the whole New Year, New Me type stuff. Because, baby, it's just as soon as the drop, you know, the clock turns. But, you know, just have them goals to work towards. Baby steps. But yeah, I definitely want to do more meditation, more I guess, what's that sound? It's like sound therapy type stuff <clears throat> where you literally just lay there and they do the bowls and the that's all the noises and stuff. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to be zen this year. I want to be relaxed. I want my mental to be on point. 
and I'm saying mental because everything comes from your head everything all your thoughts your ideas good or bad all comes from your mind so if your mind ain't right ain't nothing else gonna be right so that's the goal and have y'all ever heard of a salt cave so like if you're having a lot of like <clears throat> respiratory issues like um call um colds and whatnot it's literally a room full of salt and it's supposed to like take just make everything come out all the respiratory issues the sinus issues and you just sit in there for either 30 or 60 minutes and you read a book or you listen to music i might do that to like clean everything out and cleanse that cold plunge does that too I ain't doing no cold plunge. I almost died when we went down in the 30s this last weekend. Uh-uh. I'm good on that cold plunge. You can. I'll take pictures. But yeah. Mm-mm. Have you guys ever done a cold plunge? Now, if it was for a good reason or a good... It's for health. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I'm saying, like, if it was for, like... Raising money for something, I would do it. But just for, no, not for me. You want to do it, just be doing it. It's supposed to get rid of all your toxins. Uh, it's supposed to get rid of all your bad stuff. No. But. It's supposed to shock your heart. Oh. Yeah, it's like, let's do amazing things. I don't know about all that jazz. But yeah, <clears throat> that's the goal for next year gaining mental clarity gaining clarity for myself um focusing on the good that's about it that's about all i got and then we're gonna start from there and then we're gonna build up <laughs> see where this next year takes us this was okay i don't know if i make it again not really my jam but it was decent but if you like enchiladas and wet burritos and stuff I like trying new stuff, so if it's good, it's good. If it's not, I won't ever make it again. But let me know y'all's New Year's resolutions. Oh, there goes that word again. Goals and what you have going on for yourselves and how you been. Hope y'all been doing really well. Um, let me know if you have any food suggestions. And I work my best to get all those done. And until the next video, stay positive.